Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean Autotopia LA. Uh, as always, we're doing something fun around here. And today, what we're doing, you know, there's a car that I've shown you guys before. It's kind of a flagship car here at Autotopia owned by my brother, Eric. This is the 1970 Hemi Cuda that was built at this point, it's right around 15 years old. And it is not dated in any way whatsoever. As a matter of fact, in my opinion, this car is completely and totally relevant to what's going on in modern builds. Yeah, it's more simple in a lot of elements, but in its overall design, it's completely and totally timeless and absolutely relevant today. As a matter of fact, I've taken this car out to plenty of shows and events, and it's always one of the cars that really knocks people out. The quick on it is you probably saw this car at the end of Fast and Furious 6, and they loved the car so much they ended up making stunt doubles of it and it's the car you see letty driving in fast and furious 7. no she didn't drive this one but they did a pretty damn good copy of it but i thought it'd be fun you know i've shot this car a few times before but i've never actually gone into the details of it and this is a car worthy of showing you guys the details i know a lot of you question how it is that the dollar amounts that are spent on custom one-offs happen so this is just another one that i'm looking forward to showing you guys this one's not near as expensive as some of the cars I profiled. This one, there was only $305,000 invested in this car in the original build. That's right, $305,000. So this is a fairly mild one, but I'm gonna walk you guys through it. I know a bunch of you will have comments telling me you could build the same car for $4,800. Um, but we're gonna jump into it because I think there's some of you that actually really do enjoy uh, getting a little bit of education on these custom one-off vehicles that I'm around so often. So gonna talk through this car and we are definitely going for a drive. So you guys ready? Here we go. But we're not giving away vicious Mustang, although some of you thought we might. Mm -mm. Good try. We are giving away a vicious Mustang hat. Today's our day. We're picking the winner. Now, we don't want anyone to think we're doing anything corrupt or anything like that here over a hat or anything else for that matter. So what we're doing is we're using a website that my friend uh, Mike Garcia recommended that's called commentpicker.com. So we enter in our URL for the vicious contest episode and we see who it picks. So... Are you guys ready to see who gets picked as the winner? I am. We're on the website. You guys see YouTube comment picker right here. We've entered the URL. We've done a search. We're about to find out who wins. You ready? You see the start button here? Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, you guys, so let's talk some of the details on this bad boy. Uh, we'll start off with probably one of the most impressive pieces of this, which is under the hood. Uh, you've got a 540 Hemi, 540 cubic inch Hemi, naturally aspirated. It's got dual four barrel Hollies on it. This car makes an impressive 700 horsepower and it makes an even more impressive 700 foot pounds of torque. I love that. 700 foot pounds of torque is a total beast on this thing. One of my favorite pieces I always tell people to look at on this car is you got to bend down and take a look through the rear wheels on this car. Because when you get in here, what you realize is that it's got a Jag type rear end that's been refabbed to fit this car. So you've got the inset brakes giving a completely open exposed view of the suspension back here, which is impressive. This car has dual coilovers on the rear. Is it stiff? Hell yes, it's stiff. And obviously you got this great matte top to it on the hood and running down the side, these matte stripes. I mean, you've got this paint that looks like oil dripped all over the car. It's such a killer black. And again, think about it. This was shot 15 years ago, man. One of the things on here that I can say is mildly dated, not bad, but it's mildly dated is the, even though it does have four wheel disc, it's got Wilwood disc brakes all around on this car. 
typically in a modern build, you would definitely have a, a bigger front disc. You would probably have a 15, 15 and a half uh, front disc. But nonetheless, this car has plenty of stopping power. Personally, I love the wheels on here. It's not a company we hear a ton from anymore, but they are in existence. Fix wheels, F-I-K-S-E. I don't think you say it Fisk. I think it's Fix, but it could be Fisk. Either way, the wheels are cool on the car. I do love the Nitto custom Redline tires, which is not an easy one to come by. You want the raised custom Redline like you see on this car. What they do is shave down the outside, leaving a small section raised, and then it's painted red pretty damn cool look to bring in the red ties into the little bit of red stitching on the interior um, some of the other mechanical points it's got a Tremec T56 six-speed tranny which is awesome because it really does allow you to use all of the motor it's 391 gears as we get into the interior on this car um, those are Viper seats man those are those are 90s Viper seats that just fits so well again that's something that's mildly dated the dash on this car is mildly dated but for a 15 year old car it's not one i've never once made an excuse for this car when i show it anywhere this is a car you pull up park pop the hood and watch everyone start to drool and ask everyone to please not touch and i know for any of you hardcore guys you're going to freak out at the idea that it says aar hemi cuda because number one, there never was an AAR Hemi Cuda. There was either an AAR or a Hemi Cuda. This wasn't a real of any of those. This was just a Cuda. So don't worry, there wasn't something radically collectible that was bastardized to be turned into this thing. Um, this car started life as a 70 Cuda. And the reason he put AAR on here was really as a tribute to Dan Gurney's All-American Racing. There's mild body mods on here. Pretty hard to notice if you're just taking a look at the car until you see this gigantic fat tire back here. And then you know without question the car's been mini tubbed. I've driven a lot of cars in my life. I get to drive a lot of the most notable, crazy, modern custom builds around. This is still probably my favorite straight up muscle car. It's not one I want to throw heavy into turns, although it does turn. I don't want to have to stop fast. You do have decent disc brakes on here, um, but it's a fairly heavy car. But point it straight and slam on the gas. Oh man, you guys are about to see. This car makes such a beautiful tone. I love how throaty and meaty this sucker is. This is all about point straight, go fast, and be cooler than just about anyone on the road. All right, you guys, we're going to go take it for a drive and uh, give you a real sense of just how badass this car is. privilege of driving and I truly mean a privilege and oftentimes when you hear me talking the best I got because I'm so in the moment of enjoying the experience of driving cars like this that the best I got is oh man this thing's so cool Here we go. I'm a little nervous. 
Don't be nervous. I'm nervous? Don't be nervous. It's a hat. Here we go. It's a hat. It's a hat. All right. So 42 people are not going to win, and one person is going to win. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. It really is. Jeff Daggs has won. The winner is Jeff Daggs. So Jeff, congratulations. For everyone else, I'm sorry, but please keep, keep at it because we are definitely gonna be doing this at least a couple times a month. So Jeff, congratulations. Hit me up on Instagram or here, send me a message and uh, give me your address, anything else I might need, which would probably just be your address and I'll get a hat out to you right away, man. That's it for today, you guys. Thanks for hanging as always. Hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next one. All right, man, later.